let me just tell you that it's the first time in my life that I have three freaking tickets to get to my final destination. Yes, you heard this right. I took three flights in 24 hours to save a hundred quid. And it was 24 hours without sleeping and eating only airport food. And as crazy as this sounds, I would totally do this again. Hello, curious gang! It's your London friend, Vasi, that, of course, lives in London together with her boyfriend, Ben, and together we love traveling and giving you useful tips. And if you want to show some support and let me know that you want to see more travel-related content or fun, unexpected videos like this one, don't forget to hit the subscribe bell button down below. And now, let's go back to our trip from Cancun to London. Basically, in the beginning, we had booked a flight from Cancun to London with a connecting flight in Philadelphia for two hours, which didn't really seem so bad, at least, until they cancelled our flight from Cancun to Philly and they added an extra one. So we had to do Cancun, Dallas, Dallas, Philadelphia, Philadelphia, London. And it all started at 4 a.m. when we woke up and went to the first airport of the day. We have three flights to go and already the first one is not starting great because when you enter into the country, they give you this list which is like this immigration foil with uh, your data and like it says when did you enter the country the problem is that Ben told that he doesn't need it so he threw it away and now his life is in danger no of course I'm just kidding you just have to pay 30 quid for a new immigration paper and tell us what happens uh, and so we are here uh, and so we are here now to like you know get my immigration card through so I can leave the country. And I asked someone from security and they're like, yeah, yeah, no worries, it's just like you know the guy is coming. And me and you guys, we can go on a little exploration tour. It's actually thirty-five dollars, not thirty. Yeah, Ben is very pissed, but that's fine. Moral of the story, keep literally anything that they give to you, at least until you leave the country. And I can really see you're ready to go to the US. Oh, I'm gonna have it. This is my classical American. Oh my god, we have the same like forks in the office. They, like, they, they cut your finger. Also, don't you think it's a little bit odd that you get a plastic knife, but a normal fork? Like, what an interesting choice. Oh, I took two, sorry. But here we are. Ready to go. Bend a little bit more excitement, please. Board is now complete. Flight attendants, please secure the cabin for departure. Delta 17. Hi guys, it's Ben filming here because my girlfriend really like wants me to film everywhere at this airport. It's literally like just, you know, a, a, bit of grass. a little bit of grass. The sky, it's, it's nice, you know, this is the classic Texan landscape, you know. running slightly late no actually we're not running late because we landed earlier but i'm always like a little bit anxious so i would rather run 
Hi guys, Vasi the editor is here. So right after I filmed this, I actually went to passport control where for some reason I decided to tell them that I'm carrying an apple with me, which uh, apparently it is illegal. It is not really like in Europe. So what they did is like they took my passport and they put it into this plastic box and I just couldn't take it out of there. They told me I should go to agriculture and there they did like 15 minutes checks of all my luggage and uh, only after that I was able to go so just a little tip for me don't bring any food into the US oh, I'm back. they made me throw away my apple oh and by the way guys no one actually asked us anything about the covid test the vaccine or any of this like covid regulations but they really cared if I'm bringing an apple or not which it is an interesting choice of security so much stuff we have an espresso, hot water, uh oh, my cappuccino. So we had a little fight with Ben, but we didn't friend... have a fight. We didn't agree on something. It's yeah. wonderful. Uh, yeah, he keeps telling me when I should go to the bathroom and when. Oh, not. you're not like gonna be <sighs> ready to board for the second time today. Of course, we're like group nine out of nine. The joy. Yay, flight! Number two! Two out of three! Oh. Let's go! Let's go! You know when you're traveling and uh, your suitcase doesn't come out? You're like, but where is it? Where is it? Why is it not coming out? You know why? A book fell down. But you know where it actually is. Goodbye, suitcase. I hope you get picked up. They're picking it up. Oh, yes, they're coming for it. <gasps> Yay! That's so cool. And they took it. After this happy ending, I'm, I'm, I'm so ready to head off. Welcome to Philadelphia, where the local time is 2.12 p.m. It's time for some food because I'm low-key starving. Benny's looking comfy in there. Oh, look at that! Beyond Burger! Wow! And a lot of fries there. Oh, I got a chicken with waffle, you know, and <laughs> many waffles and pancakes today. I know, I know. Uh, my me. arteries are going to be clogged by, by the time we touch base on London. Hello, fellow Philadelphia friends. Let me check in with you. At this point, it has been... <laughs> well, actually, let me know in the comments down below if someone is actually from Philadelphia. But yeah, at this point, it's been like 12 hours that we are awake and we're traveling. And I have to say, I'm starting to feel it. In the, in the beginning, I was very excited about all this trip. But to be honest with you, I'm ready for it to be over. I actually haven't told you what is the worst part. The worst part is that tomorrow morning we land in London at 7 a.m. And guess what? I had the incredible idea of uh, going to work the day after. Just keep your fingers crossed that I survive. had a new ticket issued and also the good news is that they told us that the flight it is really empty so once the doors close we can move around and I'm really hoping that there will be enough empty seats that I can have like three seats to sleep The dessert is always the best part. I don't know why. Mm -hmm. 
I slept pretty much the entire time after dinner, but Ben couldn't really do it, so that's why he looks a little bit grumpy. Welcome to London. Passport control done in 30 seconds. Not even. And from this point onwards, I was pretty much dead, but the worst part, as I told you, it is that I had to work, so yeah, not much to show you afterwards, but I really hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, don't forget to hit the subscribe bell button down below. Love you all! Bye!